going on guys welcome back to Trafish Aquatics today I just want to go around and do a little fish room update of things that are going on and the things that I've planned on in the future so um, let's spin around and we'll start showing you the tanks I'm gonna start over here with these 20 gallons and then I'm gonna work my way around to these tanks over here and uh, maybe I'll show you the 125 out in the living room I've done a little bit to that so we'll take a look at everything alright so this 20 gallon tank right here we get a little bit of fry in here. Um, these are specifically yellow guppies. Um, I'm trying to get the, if you can see this male here, yellow with the red stripe on them right there, that is a, um, a yellow German buttercup. And the females are all yellow except for this one female here, she's a cobra. So I'm trying to incorporate all that and get them to breed yellow with the cobra spots but also have them have the little red stripe that that one has there. Um, and if you can see in the back, I am getting yellow fry as well as regular fry. So we're going to let them grow out and see what they look like. But so far this tank is doing well. Um, substrate in most of these tanks is the black diamond blasting sand. Rocks from outside because that's cheap. Um, Anubius, um, Amazon sword, and some anacharis. And... Uh, this tank is doing very well. So we'll come down to this 20 gallon tank down here. This was a, I'm gonna call it a hatchery tank even though these were live bearers. Um, and there are a ton of fry in this tank here. Um, if I go ahead and feed them, you'd be able to see them more. Now you can only see a couple of them right now. Most of them are up by the top. But there's probably about, oh, about a hundred fry in here. And then there's that one female, because I don't want to disturb everything, trying to get her out, and she likes to run. Um, but this tank is just black aquarium gravel. A um, little bit of jungle vow in here, anacharis, driftwood. Um, lots and lots of Malaysian trumpet snails. I like them, they're a pretty good cleanup crew. Um, but that's what's going on in this 20 gallon. So we will move up to this 55 gallon up here. This is my um, cheap LED lighting tank. And I just shot that video yesterday. And already this anacharis plant right here grew about another three inches in the past 24 hours. Um, everything's growing fairly well. I did move some of my female guppies in here that are pregnant so they can start um, having fry in here. And we can get another tank going with uh, lots of guppies. Um, this 55 gallon down here just has a Chinese algae eater in them. You can see him right there. And he's in here because he's a bully and likes to suck on the slime coat of other fish, so he is by himself. Um, I pulled some anacharis out of my guppy tank, so that is floating in here currently. Um, I am going to get that planted. But other than that, there's nothing going on in this tank. So we'll come up to the 29 gallon up here. So this is pretty much just the rescue tank. All these fish in here um, were given to me by somebody who's going to get rid of them. And uh, they're just kind of living their life out in here, living their best life. 20 gallon long. This is the axolotl peekaboo. Peekaboo, there he is. He's doing good. I've had him for all oh, five to six months now. He's about seven inches long. Um, when I got him, he was only about an inch and a half. And it is a him. We verified he does uh, have his stuff. So, peekaboo is a boy. And he is doing perfectly fine. Little 10 gallon algae farm over here. This is a guppy grow out. And as you can see, we had a lot of fry in here, and most of them have grown out. Ooh, we got a, this one's starting to develop a yellow tail on them with a black center. I like that. But there's probably about 50 fry in here, and they're doing fairly well. Okay, 75 gallon long. A lot of people have never even heard or seen one of these tanks in their life, and I am lucky enough to have one. This is a 6 foot long 75 gallon tank, um, and this has some of my goldfish in it. 
Um, it was mostly Orandas, and the Ryukins that are in there right now were over in that tank, and I moved them over here because I want to use that other 55 gallon for other things. So if we come down here and take a look, I got that sponge filter in here, cycling, that I showed you guys a couple uh, a couple days ago. And uh, these are some of my favorite fish. I love fancy goldfish. Love, love, love them. These guys are what got me into the hobby. And a lot of these guys had injuries. This one here had cloud eye real bad on this eye that's facing us. I don't know if we'll be able to get a shot of it, but you can see the pupil on that eye is very round. But the other eye almost looks like a snake eye, like a cat eye, um, because it got eye damage from the infection that it had. We'll see if I can get him to turn around over here. He's got like another two feet to swim. Come on, bud, turn around. There we go. You can kind of see the eye is a little messed up, but I was able to treat him with um, erythromycin. took about two weeks, but it all healed up, and he's living his best life in here. Um, everybody else in here never had anything wrong. This tank did have ick once, but I treated it successfully. Um, this fish down here did get stuck in an ornament, and you can see the, the scar on his side. Um, actually, her side. That's a female. Um, but I was able to treat that with erythromycin. It took about a week and uh, healed up nicely. So that's the 75 gallon. That's black diamond blasting sand. I don't have live plants in there because these guys tend to be a little aggressive with them. Um, five gallons up top. So the plans with these are, this is my wife's beta. Um, let me see if I can get a he likes to hide down there in his little bonsai tree. Um, but the other two five gallons, they were my quarantine tanks. They are getting moved. I have a 20 gallon tank that I'm going to set up probably here or here, one of these sides. I'm not sure yet. And the, this five gallon's staying, but these two are going. Um, the fourth five gallons down underneath down there. I'm taking the substrate out of those, putting them in the 20 gallon, and setting the 20 gallon up. And those five gallons, I uh, will show you what I'm going to do with them later. Um, so you'll notice that a lot of the plants have been removed from this tank here. Um, a lot of the anacharis was shedding leaves, creating a large ammonia spike, and a lot of the fish started dying. Not the babies, just the adults. And uh, I wanted to get that stuff out of there as quickly as I could and make sure I didn't lose any more fish. So this tank got cleaned pretty good today. Um, but as you can see... A lot of these babies are starting to develop very nice. Now one of the things I was trying to do is I was trying to incorporate, if you can see in that guppy right there, the blue and orange tails. I really like that. You can see up here that's got a blue and orange. Um, but there's lots of blue and orange tails in here. And I actually got a yellow spotted tail in there. So I did notice oh, there's another one, another yellow spotted. There's two or three of them in there. So what I'll do is I'm going to start, see here's another guppy that's sick down there sitting on the bottom, so I'll get him out and get him in quarantine. Baby shark? Baby shark? That's an albino pleco. Oh yeah. So um, that's pretty much this tank right now. Lots of guppies growing out, really happy. And uh, that's that one. So future plans. You can see I got this whole wall over here. There's the 125. I've got this whole wall over here that I'm not doing anything with. Um, I've got that 55 gallon tank that I resealed. I'm going to build a stand here and do a double stack 55. And then over here, I'm going to build another stand and do three, three, and three 10 gallons. And uh, going to have nine 10 gallon tanks for sorting out guppies so that I can sort them by colors and I can get breeding specific strains and specific color patterns. So that's going to be good. It's going to be pretty fun. And then I'll have my two other 55s for anything else. I really am thinking about getting a tank with um, tiger barbs. I really like tiger barbs. And I want to get a big school, like 20 or 25 of them, and just let them swim around. Still debating on it, but that's that. 
Um, so let's go out and check out the one. All right, guys. Here's the 125. Um, everything's growing really well. This is black diamond blasting sand. Also, I have it in here with my goldies. Um, this is a six foot tank for those of you who don't know. And this guy right here is about nine to ten inches. He's a very large oranda. Um, I actually rescued him. My large orandas I had were about seven eight years old, and they ended up passing away. Um, but the plants in here are doing very well. Um, Anacharis, Jungle Val, Amazon Swords, um, Java Fern. These were seedlings that came off of that plant there. I planted them down there and they're doing well. They're attached to that rock. A bunch of different kinds of Anubias. More Jungle Val, Amazon Sword. Um, Jungle Val and Anacharis. And all of these stones I got from outside. Um, air stones, three hang on backs nothing super fancy but this tank is overall very healthy you got the big oranda we got some lion head a ranchu and a bubble eye in there um, and then we have my wife's three telescopes we got those two right there and this guy up top and you also see these little fish swimming around in there. Those are white cloud mountain minnows. I got the golden variety and the regular. And they get along pretty good with the goldfish. No aggression or anything. They're very peaceful. And, uh, you know, it's just a little something extra. Just to see in there. Now there is also a hyphen spotted placosta. There he is. I couldn't see him for the longest time. He's hanging out back there. Uh, this tank was having a pretty good algae problem, and I put him in here and he had it taken care of in about two days. So, pretty happy I have him. Also have some nearite snails. There's one hanging out there. There was just one. Oh, there he is, under the rock there. Um, there are five or six of them in here, but they hide. They keep the algae under control. And uh, overall, this tank looks pretty good. Alright guys, so that was the update on my fish room of what's going on and future plans. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was just a little vlog that I wanted to do. So um, just give you a one quick look around the room here behind me. And those are all my tanks, but there's more to come. I got a lot of stuff planned, so can't wait to show you guys that. And uh, hopefully this weekend or next I'll go out by the wood, we'll build the stand. We'll get the tank set up. Um, I'm just waiting on a top frame to get the other tank set up, and then I'll be able to get that rack built in the 10 gallons. I don't have the 10 gallons yet, but 10 gallons are inexpensive. Um, hopefully I can find used ones. But if not, they're only like 15 bucks new, so I'll just start getting them slowly. But that's it for this video, guys. Um, a lot of big things planned. Stay tuned, keep in touch. If you like my videos, share them. Like the videos. Um, put a comment down below. You know, I respond to every comment I get. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.